Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing Corpse Party. Let's get right into it. Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my but I no longer have the energy to move, and I'm so desperately thirsty. My tongue started swelling up like a sponge, and it keeps cutting off my air. I'd find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink. Anything! I'd even drink that scary orange juice from the back of the fridge right about now. But there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty. It's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope at least you can make it out of here alive. If anyone else finds this, my name is Hiroki Motomura from Amazaki West High Class 2-4. The shelf is crammed full of very old, thoroughly yellow books with unusual titles. The Ballad of Bad Evil Bunny. A Book of Beetle Wings. Is that important? Victim's Memoirs, one of five. Otaki Mitsuharu, I want to see you again. A ghost told me that you were brought here too, but we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in my math one class at prep school. My sister's going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she'd believe this excuse even if I told her though. I feel like if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting it in contact with you. And I'm going to find it. I acquired a name tag. Amazaki West Senior Private School, Class 2-4, withered away from dehydration. Oh. I also can't go over here. So it's definitely blocking off different areas every chapter, which makes sense. Oh, what happened? Yuko? Big brother, will we ever be able to go home again? Or are we really stuck here until we... <laughs> It's not true, right, big brother? Right? We'll be okay, Yuka. We'll be okay. We'll make it out of here, Yuka. All of us, together. There's no need for you to worry. After all, you've got me, right? Oh, uh -huh. that's a good girl. Big brother. Nerves got the better of you, huh? Poor thing. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidation and show Yuka there's nothing to be afraid of. Somewhere in here, Naomi may also be feeling scared and alone. We need to find her as soon as we can. Do not make eye contact with the children. Their grudges serve as the ties that hold the school building together and largely account for the dreadful curse placed upon it. When staring such power in the face, your mind will surely wither and your soul will no doubt be eaten. That's kind of gross. There's a rusted bucket on the ground. It's empty. Oh, so I'm in more of the past. The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. So I need to find the wood. Now the wood in the beginning was around here, but it's not there this time. So I wonder where, oh, there it is. Hello? Oh, there's somebody there. It, uh, a child spirit? That red dress looked pretty old fashioned. <laughs> Big brother! <laughs> it, it's okay, she's gone now. I didn't even notice her until like later. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh wait, how do I get to that? Did I miss it from this door? I probably did, I was probably in front of my face. Um, hello? Is it just me, or is that board moving? Oh yeah, it is, eh? Yeah, it was over on this side a minute ago. Maybe we can ambush it? Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. I was just like, with the purple thing. Okay. So it's at this table over there. Let me go over there and do that. How did it watch out there? Wait, now I can't get to it? Uh, okay. Oh, Ayuka, can you wait here for just a second? Huh? Big brother, no, don't leave me! Don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay, but you have to come right back. You promise? You bet. Uh, okay.
Yuka, can you grab that board? Uh-huh, I got it. All right, I guess the right. Acquired loose board. Nicely done. I'd say we're one step closer to getting out of here now. You all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Actually, wait a sec, big brother. Hmm? Huh? What's up? Um, this is for you. Oh, what is it? Such a cute little bottle. Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. Oh, there sure are a lot of them in there. Give it a sniff. Hey, Caramel, that smells really good. Isn't it neat? She probably spent her allowance at that stationery shop in town again. See, caramel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents and shields you from danger. That's why I want you to have it. Flavor? This place frightening you? Don't worry. I'll be alright. You should hang on to it yourself. Um, but I really don't mind. You take it. Huh? I just... I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. <gasps> You're scatterbrained. You always get freaked out so easily. And it really scares me. Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. Take it? Alright. I guess I can borrow it for a little. Thanks. <laughs> take good care of it, okay? Caramel flavor will keep you safe, but that's not all. Want to know what else this does? It's a secret. Huh? What do you mean by that? If I tell you, you'll get all bothered, so I'm not gonna. Something that would bother me? More than calling me a scatterbrain? <laughs> You're seeing scented beads. Hopefully that was a good choice. Oh. Man, another earthquake! Yuka, grab a hand! It's over. There are skeletal remains of a young girl sprawled out across the ground. Looking closely, she seems to be holding a letter in her bony fingers. Yosuke. Yosuke, I'm so sorry. If only I hadn't discovered that stupid charm. A charm, eh? You missed the final bell. You missed the end of school. If you're still here, then you always will be. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Every shelf of every cabinet, you must turn every page and rifle through if you wish to learn more about this school. Who've become trapped within these walls, many messages have been left behind by the others. May use their words as a guide to break free of the curse. Victim's Memoirs 205 I'm so cold. I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body bit by bit. And then there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt. I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size, appearing longer or shorter pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. No. A heavy cabinet collapsed across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over it would be far too risky. What? Why hey, you kill me? <laughs> you pay. Oh, no, 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 honey, no. I didn't do jack to you. Dirty husk left behind by the soul. Filthy, disgusting carbon dust. Repulsive bag of meat and tissue. Yet one must scrub and clean it well. Presented at the moment of salvation. For the Lord doth watch over us always. What are you talking about? Infirmary, the door is locked. Hello? Oh, the body's gone. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in the past. Science lab. The door seems affixed to the wall like a model. It can't be opened. Okay, so that's the same. Why was it dull, shadowy stuff there?
The skeletal remains of a female student are sprawled across the floor. Pinned to what's left of her school uniform is a student ID name tag. St. Mary Ann University High School, Class 2-1, Megami Sugi. There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Yeah, I'm here. Why not? Acquired unknown key. 